Hello guys, welcome back to part 110 of What a Legend. I'm with Kirchike, let's go. Thanks for the offer. I will get you, but I'll take the curse. Her fingers, soft between her boobs, Rose walked confidently toward Abugadu and grabbed the curse paper with the other hand. There was a small explosion of light in her hand. Rose! No! And a red smoke had filled the room. But when the red light gently faded into the air, I saw Rose standing there, unharmed and unchanged. And, dismissively, almost arrogantly, dropped the paper on the ground right in front of me. It didn't curse her. I don't have to choose Abu Gedu, because you cannot curse me. How? How did you break my curse again? I thought the earlier curse broke to the passage of time and the weakening of the magic, but no. As Abu Gedu was fuming with anger, I saw Rose take out a tiny bottle full of, a li of white liquid from between her breasts, and winking at me, she quickly put it back between her boobs. Ever since the ravens came, I've been keeping a tiny jar of your cum in my pocket in case. Wow, great thinking, Rose. What are you two whispering about? The cures didn't work, because you don't have a legitimate claim. Whatever Miski said wasn't supposed to be taken literally, and because of that, you can't curse me for it. Impossible. He reached and grabbed Rose with his gigantic hand, squeezing her with anger. Ah! It's not wise to lie to a devil, girl. Not wise at all. Hey, stop! You'd crush her! How did you undo my curse? Speak, if you don't wish to die. Ah! I said, how? It was me. She broke the curse with my help. You... a mere human? That's right. A mere fucking human. Now, please, put her down if you want to know more. <laughs> now! Are you alright, Rose? No, I... You shouldn't have gotten involved. I had to, Rose. And I was already involved. Speak! How did you undo a powerful demonic curse? Tell me everything, and I might show mercy. Make him wait until morning. My patience is not infinite, curse breaker. Yeah, um, the thing is that I need a bit of practice to get the spell right. Can I tell you tomorrow instead? Do you think this is a joke? That I let insignificant creatures enter my magic and mock me? Oh. I'm not mocking you, Mr. Abigadu, and I just saw you almost crushing Rose in your mighty hand, so I know you're not kidding, but I've never taught anyone, and I want to do it right, you know? So give me until tomorrow to practice, and you will learn all my demonic curious breaking secrets. <sighs> Morning, you say? I see no reason to deny your request. You... I'm not allowed to leave my court yard. I must return at dawn. Really? Okay, dear. Thanks. Happy that I had convinced Abu Gedi to give us more time. I helped Rose, and we left the Reventrove's main hall together. Morning. I have her. Returning to its yard. All right, we're out. How long do you think we have till morning? It's hard to tell the time when there's no sky above us. I'm sorry, Miss K. I'm sorry that your life will never be the same again. Now that he knows you're not the one who broke his cures, you're the one who broke his cures, he will never leave you alone. Nah, we'll get out of this problem, Rose. Just wait and see. If you lie to him, he will find out. And if you tell him the truth, he will realize you have the power to undo his magic. And he will... Kill me? Not himself. You have never signed a contract with him, so he has no power to do anything harmful to you personally. But he does have many minions. Minions created to kill humans on sight, and they will do it for him. Okay, what's the plan then? We're going to fly away and escape, right? 
I guess that's why you wanted to wait till morning. We will wait till dawn and then fly to Flu Town. And all the way to Flo Town. I mean, Flo Town is on the other side of the world. Uh, and you just started flying. Do you, don't, do you think you can fly that far with me on your back? I don't know. The birds, these birds will pursue and try to stop us, and they'll have plenty of opportunities to do so. We're in Sin Town, right? Maybe we can... We need to rest. Rest and cover whatever energy we have for the journey. Rest where, Rose? Anywhere. But I need to sit down and think. We went to one of the windows of the building and sat under it. Did Abigail hurt you badly? No, I'm fine. I'm tired from the earlier flight. Feel aching all over my hips from Abigail's squeeze and intend to go on a longer, more dangerous flight. It's going to fail. Okay, listen. Perhaps we can find something here in Sintown to help us deal with Ebu. It would be foolish to leave this yard. You may not see his heavens, but they're watching us. If we're going to leave, it has to be to fly and escape to Flu Town. Fine. Get some rest, Miski. You will need it. Sleep? Here? With all the ash and smoke in the air? Anyway, what are we going to do? I don't think Rose can fly all the way to Flu Town, can she? I'm pretty sure she knows she can't either. That's why she looks upset. There's got to be another way. I don't know if Rose actually slept or merely had her eyes closed, but I didn't. Instead, I spent a long time drinking, thinking about possible solutions, without any bright ideas, I must, uh, I must add. The morning came in the form of Rose's wings and horns. Come, Whiskey, hold my waist. We must leave th tough through the cave's mouth and escape for Flu Town. They're the only people that have mustered ways to control demons and Abugado, and the likes of him will avoid it. Hmm, Flu Town. Grab me tight! Quick! Reaching Flu Town is our only chance. We've also got this. My chain. I put it in my bag after I woke you up earlier and didn't think about it until now. You said no demon will ever be able to open it, right? Only if we can get him to make himself human-sized. Any suggestion of it, stuff, and he might suspect a trick. We'll risk it, Rose. Pay! Pay! It's time. Right, I'll go in alone and try to convince him to make himself small, while you come from behind and cuff his hands behind his back when he's busy with him. We can get him to promise to leave us alone in exchange for his removal. <coughs> I better go. I want him in a good mood. Don't forget the plan. He calls that a plan? It's too late to escape now. If Misk can get Abogado to become human-sized, we may succeed. Feeling hopeful and leaving the entire demon chains with Rose, I went to Abogado, finding him on his throne, waiting for me. Good morning. Ready to learn new spells, pupil? You came. Yeah, I didn't have much time to practice, to be honest. But I think I'm really all the same. I admit I'm disappointed that you did not try to escape. I had ordered my other servants to hunt you down, to make an example of Rose. Um, no, we never wanted to do that. I told you I'd be here, so here I am. Speaking of your servants, did you make me have that useful dream with one of your ravens? I did. I was not allowed to cause you any harm, but helping you with your problems, I most certainly could do. Romantic problems, for example. Things that would make us fall in love with you, to make you useful to me. I'll, you'll pay for it, fucker. So guys, sorry for the many mistakes, it's just that I'm a bit tired. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye!